Hi guys, very welcome to my number 10 of my Houdini rigging tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will talk about the uh, capture and deform regions, edit capture region tool, align capture pose tool, capture frame and capture pose, um, and edit um, capture weights tool. Um, okay, let's begin with uh, capture regions, uh, capture and deform regions. We'll begin with a simple scene here. I already created a box with a couple subdivision and also uh, two bones. And they are laying on a grid. And third thing, I will just uh, talk about the capture and deform regions. I like first to capture my geometry with these bones. I will go up activate my bone tool here or my bone root and just bring up in Y. Okay, now we need a um, capture soap. And I specify here the uh, root as we did in last tutorial. And we need also the form soap. Okay, and now we're ready co to go. Um, as I mentioned before, the capture region is first created when you create the joint. If we activate or we f if we select a bone, we have here display capture region. Normally what Houdini does, Houdini shows the deform region, not the capture region. To be able to see the capture regions, we have to go um, uh, select the bone and go to object and capture pose. And you see um, that our ca capture regions are still on a grid here because we first created um, the bones and after uh, we positioned them uh, to match the geometry. Okay, um, why it's so important? I just switch first to my okay, deform region. Then uh, we will talk about the um, capture frame and capture pose. As you see here, if I try to uh, rotate my bone here, we have no deformation because we we didn't specify our uh, capture pose or capture frame. In this case, um, if we use a capture frame, we can say doesn't matter where the capture. Uh, region is, just place me this capture region on a frame to where the bones um, are placed on a frame too. And now you see if I uh, rotate my geometry or my bone, sorry, the geometry is following. But let's um, a try to use a capture pose. As you see here, we have the capture uh, region down here where the bones uh, uh, were created. And uh, now I just um, will use the align capture pose tool to align my capture uh, region to actual deform region. How we can do this? This is very simple. We use the um, um, align capture pose tool. I go up to my um, joints here and as you see here I just uh, press the align capture pose and we have now um, have to specify the um, uh, operation 
In my case, I like my uh, capture pose um, match with default region. And therefore, now I have to select my bones here and just um, say align capture pose. And now if we um, show our capture pose by selecting bones or bone and you would just go to edit object and uh, capture pose you see now the capture pose position and um, the uh, not capture pose capture region position and the phone region position um, matching okay now we can go inside uh, capture uh, sub and now we can say please use uh, capture pose and in this case as you see we have the same result here if we're rotating the bone oh i have to go out of my capture um, the pose we have the deformation also here okay now we move on to edit uh, capture region tool this is very simple we have to activate edit capture region uh, tool here and uh, select the bone and you see here we have a couple handles here we can just click and drag and you see uh, Houdini automatically update uh, uh, influence you can also take and scale or in this direction when you can move um, from right to left and you can um, just uh, try to uh, to adjust the weighting this way. There is another tool also uh, to your arsenal here. And this tool is Edit Capture Weights tool. Do you remember from the last tutorial? we were uh, talking about these two strong guys pushing and pulling one rope uh, from light to, uh, right to left or from uh, left to right the same I idea is here um, first we have to activate edit capture weights tool you see here we have here um, Edit, capture, what is this? Here is it, edit, capture, weight tool. And now Houdini says, um, select the point to adjust the capture weights. You can now select one, um, one point here. And as you see here, we have um, one little handle here that we can move from right to left um, if this handle is here it means that this point has 100 percent or weighting of one because the weights are always almost always normalized to this bone if you push it here it means that this bone has no influence um, for this uh, point and uh, we, I can demonstrate maybe we can pull it down now if I uh, try to rotate my bone now I have to go out of this tool now we rotate the bone and as you see this one point stays here because 
um, this point has no influence from this point. Now we can just activate it again with um, how is this edit capture weights select and you see we can now just grab this handle and you see it's now we have the 100% of or uh, weighting of one to this joint okay um, and that's it for this tutorial in the next one we will talk about adding influence um, add influence geometry and painting weights thank you very much for watching if you like this tutorial please um, leave a comment don't forget to subscribe and uh, I'll see you next Monday bye